I'm looking through Google goggles today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and we've got an exciting episode for you today with a hot new release from Google. One of the most interesting trends with smartphones has been the emergence of augmented reality applications. Apps like Layer and even Yelp utilize the camera in your phone, your location, and their data stores to give you amazing information about the world around you. It was just a matter of time until Google got into this game, and this past Monday, they introduced the world to Google Goggles. Free in the Android marketplace and developed by Google, Goggles isn't described as an augmented reality application by Google, rather as a visual search application, which in the process accomplishes many of the same things augmented reality apps do. I've been playing with Goggles, and I gotta admit, it's really cool. When you load Goggles for the first time, Google presents a great walkthrough of what Goggles is good at doing. They're going out of their way to make it simple to understand that the app is better at something like books, logos, artwork, barcodes, and text, and not things like animals and furniture. They even provide a neat video showing you how it works and how to get the most out of your app. Hi, I'm Hartmut. I'm an engineer at Google. Hi, I'm Shailesh, product manager at Google. We're here to introduce Google Goggles, a visual search application for Android phones. Until now, the only option for web search has been typing or speaking. Now you can search by taking a photo. With that info out of the way, Google asks if you'd like to enable search history. If you enable it, you'll be able to access the photos you searched for already. But that means they'll also be shared with Google. So if you're concerned about Google knowing what you're searching for and privacy and things like that, you'll want to disable this feature. Make your choice, tap Get Started, and you're good to go. The app switches to camera mode and you're ready to search. I'm going to give this a whirl and see how it works. And while I do that, let's thank our sponsor, GoDaddy. If you want to make an impact online, GoDaddy.com has what you need. .com names as low as $1.99, plus world-class hosting and fast and easy website builders and much more. Web hosting from GoDaddy.com includes 99% uptime, 24-7 support, and free access to hosting connection. The place to install over 30 free applications sure to help you get the most from your hosting plan and website. And especially for all you App Judgment fans, using the code JUDGE8 gets you 10% off your order. Also be sure to check out revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy for all the App Judgment GoDaddy deals and codes. So based on Google's advice, I ran around and searched for some things to see how well it worked. And well, the results were mixed. To start, I tried taking a pic of a movie cover. Sure enough, Google identified the image and correctly gave me search results based on it. Score! But then I flipped the case around and took a pic of the barcode, wondering if it would find the movie like an app like Shop Savvy does. And after about five tries, I gave up. It never successfully read the barcode and the search results I got were crap. One of the things they mentioned specifically in the video is how goggles can help with business cards by scanning them and adding that person's contact info directly to your phone. That's pretty cool, right? They tell you to try to fit as much of the card's information on the screen when you take the photo. After you take it, you see the photo get analyzed and the contact information appears above the search results. To say my results with this were mixed would be overly generous. I scanned about 10 business cards of various designs, some with light backgrounds, some with dark backgrounds. I even scanned the business cards of some people who work at Google. Out of 10 cards, only one was 100% successful. Each of the scans got some data, but it was mixed. Sometimes I got the person's name, almost always I got the phone number, but Goggle seems to have the hardest time with email addresses, misinterpreting the at sign for an O and then thinking it's a web address. But the ability to add to your phone contacts is pretty damn cool, but they've still got a lot of work to do with this. In addition to the visual search, Google Goggles uses your GPS, the phone's compass, and their data store to give you location-based results. They know where I am, and they can show me businesses and restaurants nearby. This is a neat feature, but I don't love the implementation. The little markers along the bottom of the screen can be tough to use as they fly by, and while this seems like augmented reality, it's not as developed as an app like Layer. Rather, it's just providing location-based search. Goggles is one of the most innovative applications combining the best of Google with your phone. The ability to get image-based search results along with business card contact info scanning is great. That said, you have to be mindful that your photos are in focus and avoid glare. The business card info scanning, while cool, does yield spotty results. And finally, while we may want it to be, this is not an augmented reality app. All those cool features, the power of Google, plus it's free, this is a no-brainer. Download this app. You'll have a blast playing with it, and I bet it will come in handy down the road. So what do you think? Did you check out Google Goggles yet? Can you say Google Goggles? Because I can't. Head over to our forums and tell everyone what we think about it at revision3.com forward slash appjudgment. Have any other apps you think we should check out? Email me at appjudgment at revision3.com and let me know. And while you're at it, please be my friend. Go to facebook.com slash appjudgment and become a fan of the show, or follow us at twitter.com slash appjudgment. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I can go without saying Google Goggles for a long time. <laughs>